If you're a fan of the content creator GD Colin, you may be familiar with a level he released called Object Addies, which contains every single object that can be used in levels. This level may appear to have many secret objects that you can't normally use, such as the old color triggers. However, they're even objects which this level does not include. For example, in update 1.3, an unused texture can be found in the game files. The ID for this object is 79, which is surrounded by these objects, implying that this unused object was actually the original design for these objects. This is what the design looks like when recreated in the editor. Remember when I mentioned that the object ID's level does not include these secret objects? Well, I lied. The start position, not to be confused with the actual start position, is actually a secret trigger called the end level trigger. If you place the object into the level, you will be greeted with a solid start position. However, if you were to load this level in GD 1.0, this secret trigger will appear instead. Unfortunately, nothing happens when you interact with this trigger as no code is written for it. However, it's very interesting to think about. The level end trigger wasn't the only trigger that has changed over the years. The background triggers are special triggers that enable and disable background particles when flying. They were added in 2.1 for creators to use, however, they have actually been in the game since 1.0 with the object IDs 42 and 43 rather than the current IDs. Unfortunately, that's all the cool triggers. However, there are still a couple of hidden objects that you may be familiar with, such as the secret coin that can be found in official levels. These coins can be placed using hacks and even have their own special menu. Unfortunately, secret coins only save when you edit an official level. Another familiar object is the practice mode checkpoint. Unfortunately, they cannot be placed in levels. Attempt to manually do so will result in the game crashing. Did you know that there's also special objects with more than one ID? This object from 1.0 uses two object IDs, one for the rod and a second with the object ID of 37 for the pulse and ball. The texture for the ball is randomly generated every time you press the play button and can be one of these three textures at a time. Another object that behaves similarly are every single portal. One ID is for the front of the portal and the object ID 38 is for the back. The texture for the back changes depending on which portal is used. However, for some reason in update 1.5, the back of the UFO portal is set to the ID 112 for an unknown reason. Finally, the last special object is the exit portal with an ID of 749. Interacting with the portal does nothing and it will not save when placed on level. As all the cool hidden objects I was able to find were working in this video, I hope you all enjoyed watching it. It was fun to make. Be sure to let me know what you think by liking, disliking, or commenting. I'll see you in the next video.